Oh, how you doing, everybody? My name is Anthony, and welcome to To the Moon. And uh, this game is about two. You play as two doctors. You play, I don't know if you play as two doctors or not, but there's two doctors, and you're with this old man who's dying, and you have to. It said you have to go back in his through his memories and artificially implant one that is like so he can live out his dream before he dies. So uh, maybe his means maybe his dreams is to go to the moon. We not, we'll find. I'm sure we'll find out. But uh, I found this game pretty much on a list of best indie games ever made. So I decided to play it. It's been out for a decent amount of time too, in 2011. So uh, let's begin. And apparently everyone who has played this game has cried at some point. So looking forward to that. Looks like a, like a Pokemon style. I only played one Pokemon game in my life, and it was on the Game Boy, but it me up, reminds me of it. Nice 2D graphics. Oh, that was got, I was going to click on the door. Nice little girl playing the piano. Nice pleasant song. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm guessing these two are the doctors. Dr. Rosaline. Where were you looking, Neil? Dr. Watts. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does this world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever fur, fur ball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that in your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Uh, left quick to interact. Yeah. Equipment retrieved. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Uh, right click toggle menu or cancel. Oh, um, okay. Going this way. The sign to the house points the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. Okay, let's go this way then. Sorry, Rosaline. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. I got a bird. Um... Walk up the stairs, I guess, yeah. Nice point-and-click adventure. Oh, um, that a rock? Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's a security system. Cucumbers. What? <laughs> okay, what kind of stressed-out phrase is that? We don't have time for this fluff. Let's start pushing it out of the way. I mean, it's a rock. It's probably kind of heavy. Maybe we can try to... Maybe we can find a tree branch to jack it with. I mean, pretty big tree branch. Wait. Or we could just call call a night and blame it on that. Push it by hand, find a branch, abort mission, and go home. Uh, let's, let's go find a branch. Branch will do. Um, this that's a log. There's a branch right here. Pretty skinny one. Received tree branch. Alright, this better work. Probably not going to. Oh, it it did it, it just didn't push it out of the way. It completely disintegrated it from its existence. What was that? I I don't even It's come kinda of an air ball. Okay. Um, right. We need to get going for now. 
Right. So, drop your branch. Okay, follow the path. Go up, thank you. Here's the house. Nice house you got. Or he got, he has. There she is. Still playing. Ma, they're here. <laughs> Can I go in? Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them for hating. You know the answer, you stupid owl. Okay, Rosalind, don't have to be so aggressive. Probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know. Man, I know. And I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. In your eyelids, Will. <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. Rosalind, you're very mean. God. I don't get paid enough for this. I don't get paid enough to e either with Dr. Watts. She's slowly back in. There you go. <laughs> Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Okay. Quote of the day. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind, I presume. Oh, it's a woman talking. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh my god. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. There's his kids. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Oh, her, her kids. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> See the equipment again. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. I forgot I had to move. <laughs> go up. Yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play with that melody. <laughs> Is that a Yoshi sound? No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get these boring two notes anyway. <laughs> and they're pretty good at piano. Did they look around? Or am I just going upstairs? I think I'm just waiting. Yeah. What childhood prodigies you got there? Those kids are pretty good for their age. Yeah, exactly. I just said that. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Um. Why is it? Uh, looks like there was like just a wall here. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. Is that a woman? That's a woman doctor. <laughs> Hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Um. I'll look him over. Go ahead and set up. 
Okay. Uh, set up. Where do I set up? Are you here? I select some readings from medical journals. Here, this woman. Let's talk to the caretaker. Ready to set up? Yes. Yes. It'll just be a moment. Nice machine you got there. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just keep your... Just... Just keep you on your toes. Oh, Jesus. Pretty sophisticated piece of equipment you got there. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So the two you can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. <laughs> so what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I was his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Play as Rosaline. Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy. Leaving a butt print on this chair. Right. Do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano down... The, the piano downstairs. Okay. Um, Let's go downstairs this way, yeah. Tommy and Sarah. The childhood prodigies. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. No. Talk. No. Here. Take this. Remote patient monitor. Okay. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Where are you now? Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Okay. I mean, she's the doctor, and we're just the dream specialists. I doubt we can do much to revive him if it flatlines. Can you go downstairs? Thank you. Tommy and Sarah, can you show me around the place? Can, can you show me around the place? There we go. What you want? Sh show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said you... Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Um, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, sure. My mother used to keep the candies on high shelves, too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. 
Okay, God. Oh, right here. This, go, no, this way. There's that candy cane. She, you can't even reach it. How did Sarah get it on top? Or not Sarah. Lily. There you go. Received candy cane. Go, go out. Here we go. Terrible calories. <laughs> Here's your candy cane. Okay, I got what you wanted. Google candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this, if you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. That's a big threat right there. Okay, where do we start? God, I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. Oh, that's... We need to get the keys, though. The old man hides it inside of a book in the study. Study. Alright, study. Is this the study over here? Come on. Can you just go when I click it? Thank you. There we go. This is the study. This is the book room. <laughs> the key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Go over here. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Why am I reading this? Just get the book. Dusklight. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. <laughs> maybe, in, maybe another year. Received. Room key. He shows his hiding spot well. He did. That he did. All well, these lights glinting. Just to turn them on. Can you go over to the light? Oh god, those are bright lights. Alright, let's go. Go to the funny room. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can open the funny room in the basement now. This, Yeah, this is the basement. This is the basement. You play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Thank you, Tommy. We'll open this one. The door is locked. Use the key. There you go. Genius. This is why you got your doctorate. It's like a cave in here. Oh, God. That's not creepy. Broken music box. It's a lot of rabbits. A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh, that's why he has that origami book. He got pretty good at it. Um, this? A stuffed toy platypus. Nice. Looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. I'm gonna take it. Receive toy platypus. Can I walk anywhere? Is this the only thing in here? I think this is the only thing in here. Yeah. Okay, leave. Did you see it? What do you what do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hehe. <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Decision. Let's go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check the old, old lighthouse out. Alright, so I'm going to leave this video here, and uh, we'll check out the lighthouse next video. But uh, this game, I think I said this game's like four hours long, so I think it'll be pretty good to keep it 20 minute episodes. And uh, I'm sure it'll pick up later on, so for now, Rivadarchi.